I think it's safe to say that everything gets better when you're getting ample quality sleep and everything gets worse when you're not. Emotional reactivity, wound healing, cancer outcomes, bad decisions, everything gets worse when you're not sleeping. We know this. So a big focus of my lab and my public education efforts have been around how to improve sleep. And there are a number of different ways to do that, but there are sort of three foundational steps that everyone can take. First of all is when you fall asleep is basically 16 hours after you get bright sunlight in your eyes in the morning. And if you don't get outside and get sunlight in your eyes in the morning, you're severely hindering your sleep quality. As a pure action step, get outside, even if it's cloudy, and get sunlight in your eyes. How long? Well, depends. Anywhere from two to 30 minutes, depending on how bright it is. And then the other thing is to really avoid bright light exposure between the hours of 10 p.m. and 4 a.m. You don't have to be neurotic about this, but really want to adjust down the intensity of screens and the intensity of lamps and things. Melatonin is the hormone that promotes the transition to sleep. It's not what keeps you asleep, but it's what promotes the transition to sleep. So in the evening, if you got a lot of bright lights on or you're looking at your screen up close and it's bright, you're shutting down your melatonin production. You're messing up your sleep for sure. So use as little light as you need in order to function safely. Basically get that morning light, get the evening light. And then of course, there's a whole kit of tools for relaxing yourself to help you aid transition to sleep, something called non-sleep deep rest or NSDR. And then there's the whole kit of supplements and things like that and how to eat in order to promote sleep. And we could do several hours on this, but those are really the core things.